I'm going to make a taco. The first thing is to add some flour. Just like that. Then apple. I couldn't resist biting it. Some eggs. Put some strawberries. Sprinkles. And add shrimp to everything. Pour over the chocolate sauce. Pour milk. And Coca-Cola. Hmm, broccoli? Yes, we need that. Oh, well, why can't I cook anything? No! <laughs> what happened? What's the matter? Oh, I really want to eat, but I couldn't cook anything. Wait a minute, yes. I know what to do. I announce a culinary challenge. Where are we? What's happening? What can I cook for you? I want a chicken leg. Nothing complicated. We'll cook you anything you want. What is it made of? Chicken, silly. I know a wonderful recipe for chicken. Add some spices. Mm, it's gonna be a very tasty dish. Some vegetables. I'll prepare them. The secret of this dish is that the more vegetables you add, the tastier it will turn out. You need to wash everything thoroughly, cut it into large pieces after all. A big piece in the mouth is happy mouth. Just cut some potatoes too. And then proceed to stuffing it. Here is the most important part. I will put all the vegetables in the chicken and they will be back right inside of it. Vegetables can be alternated. I will also put potatoes and carrots in the baking dish. Let them cook separately from the meat. Ah, oh, what a beauty. Now I'll put everything in a well-heated oven. Hmm, I don't like this chicken, but the chicken from KFC is a completely different matter. I'll cook especially spicy with the addition of Tabasco pepper and breadcrumbs from Cheetos. Hmm, this jar is too small. And now I'm going to roll a chicken leg in breadcrumbs. The main thing is to shake the pack. That's it. Then you can put the chicken on the baking sheet with parchment to bake it in the oven. Uh, what was that? What's happening? Before cooking the chicken, we must thoroughly beat it off. Beat with all your might and then it will become all juicy and soft. Now you can cook it. Add oil to the frying pan and fry the fillets on the all sides until they're cooked. Oh, what a delicious chicken I will make. It's ready. Now to pour some oil on it. Just like that. Before serving, I'll smear the chicken with butter. <clears throat> Smells so good. Oh, don't you dare. This is for my granddaughter. Take care of your chicken. That's what I'll do. It's time to put the legs in the oven. How beautiful they turned out. Oh no. Oh! Then added too much of the world's hottest Tabasco pepper. <gasps> I can't. Yeah. Oh, my legs are fried. Now they can be served. I'll put them in a KFC bucket. So just like that in a cafe. Hmm. And I have to get ready. Only a couple of touches to a beautiful dish are missing. Here. Now the chicken looks exquisite. Bon appétit. Bah, bah, bah. Try, granddaughter. Hmm, what different dishes turned out here? And which one should I start with? I think I'll try with chicken filet. Hmm, do you need to eat some sauce? Hmm, it smells good. Hmm, what I have to say, it's delicious. I like it. Uh, let's try this one. Hmm, whoa, they look like very much like KFC. Mm. So spicy, what should I do? It's terrible. We need something to eat this taste off. Ah, another chicken. Mm, it helped. Mm, so juicy. Yes, this is the best chicken. I have chosen the winner. Yes, Grandma. You're the best. Ah, oh, I have to feed my granddaughter properly, am I right? I want ice cream. Yes. And I have to have different tastes in it. Uh, what? Ice cream? And how to cook ice cream? I'll look it up in Google. <sighs> My recipe book. Oh, amateurs. Ice cream is made of from cream. 
So to get different flavors, you just need to pour cream into different bowls. The first bowl will taste like strawberries. I'll add the berry to the cream and mix everything with a blender. The blender will grind the strawberries with the cream to a thick foam. This bowl will be green. I'll make the addition of kiwi, the technology is the same. And now I'll add blueberries to make the bowl turn blue. Oh, how beautiful! It looks like I don't have the recipe, but Grandma knows everything. Hmm, think curly gray-headed girl. Oh, I know! I'll make it with ice molds. I'll put a berry in each one of them and pour milk. It should cover the berries. I'll insert a popsicle stick into each sector. So it'll be a very convenient to pull the ice cream out of the mold. Hmm. That's it. The only thing left is to put the ice cream in the freezer for a long time. More precisely, until the milk freezes. It will have to wait, but it's worth it. Oh, where is it? Ooh, I finally found it. A convenient and very simple recipe from TikTok. Yeah. I even have everything I need to make an ice cream. And by the way, I figured out how to make it even tastier than this recipe. I'll add some M&Ms, milk. And now I'm going to close it tightly. I'll take another bag and add ice cubes to it. I'll put the finished ice cream mixture inside and pour more cubes on top. And now you need to close the package and shake it well. It even sounds like music. What are those sounds? This is me checking out recipe from TikTok. Come with me. Uh... What's the matter with them? Okay, let them have fun. Now I need to grind a piece of dry ice. It's steaming so much, it's crazy. Ooh, uh, what's happening? Why did it get so cold in here? It's all Betty with her hot cuisines recipes. Correctly noted, Ben. I cook only according to recipes of hot cuisine. Ah, uh, notice my ice cream looks exactly as Paige depicted it. Isn't that a sign of mastery? And now it remains to decorate the balls before serving with strawberries, multicolored sprinkles, and trinkles of chocolate sauce. See? That's beautiful. And it's ready. <laughs> and Grandma has everything ready too. Yes, this is not a haughty cuisine dish, but just look at these cute sweet babies. Ooh, I wonder if it worked. Hooray, it worked! Look at that! Hmm, how beautiful. What is this? Looks like I have to eat it from the back. Well, it doesn't look well, but it's quite good. What a strange ice cream. This is the first time I've seen this. Hmm, it's just ice with strawberries. Ugh, not sweet at all. Ooh, I finally got to you. Incredible, beautiful ice cream. Mmm, the most delicious, beautiful, just like I dreamed of. Careful, Paige. If you eat too much ice cream at once, you can freeze. But it looks like she won't be listening to me, right? Ah, uh, the most delicious. Did you hear what she said? Yes, my ice cream is the most delicious. Victory is mine. So the heroes froze in anticipation of a new task. And this time Paige wants to eat. It'll be mac and cheese. And add more cheese. I love it very much. No problem, Paige. I'll do it in a way you like it. Except no one serves mac and cheese in restaurants. We're serving pasta. And I will cook it from Italian pasta of hard varieties. I timed it to cook the al dente pasta. Just like this. A little more time left. Ah, watch your expressions, young lady. What are you doing? Pasta should not be broken into pieces. Uh, how else will I cook it? It doesn't fit into a pot. Barely managed. Oh, I almost forgot to time it. Now I just meet. Uh, should I do something? I don't know how to cook them. Oh, it's good they write recipes on the pack. So it says to saucepan, pour it on the pack, and it'll be ready. Hmm, everything seems to be clear. Here is a saucepan, you need to pour pasta into it. Whoa, there are so many of them in a pack. Oh, 
here, I poured it. Oh, it was an accident. And now, you need to stir the pasta and get it thick. Done! It remains to drain the water and put the pasta on the plate. I'll make them to wipe away excess moisture. Uh, what is that sound? Oh, the pasta is cooked, that's it. Grandma puts down her kneading and proceeds to... <gasps> what do you say, Betty? Serving a dish. Yes, Grandma will need a good piece of cheese for her. Paige and I just love mac and cheese with Cheetos. This is our favorite recipe. For it, I will make a small crumb of Cheetos and pour it directly into the finished pasta. Mmm, it smells so good. Uh, did you fall asleep while you were grating cheese, Grandma? Uh, oh, I think… yes. Oh, no. Well, Paige asked me to add more cheese to it, so I think she'll like it. My darling, my treasure, French blue cheese with mold. Ooh, so exquisite. Oh, what stinks so bad? A disgusting smell. You don't just understand anything. This is an exquisite delicacy that is eaten in high society. It will perfectly complement the taste of pasta. Uh, and not only taste, but also give them a special shade. And the dish will be complemented by fresh shrimps brought from the southern seas washing the shores of Italy. Big deal. There is nothing tastier than simple macaroni and cheese, especially when the macaroni itself is not visible because of the cheese. I made mac and cheese with Cheetos. Mmm, delicious. Paige would rather try these than yours. And what Paige likes, we'll find out right now. Wow, what different dishes turned out. Hmm, where should I start? Let's do this one. Hmm. Uh, what? Grandma, I think you left something on my plate. Uh, what's that? Oh, Grandma. Hmm, how strange it smells from this pasta. Ew, I wonder what they are. Why are they green? Funny, I haven't tried them yet. I'll try a little. Oh. oh no, what a mess! You decided to poison me or something? This is the most tasteless pasta I've ever tasted. I hope these won't be so terrible. Although you can't tell by the look of them. So delicious! Yes, I choose this pasta as the winner. Hooray! Yes, Paige, I knew you'd like it. I won! Hooray, hooray! 